Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have 10 to the power of n minus 8 to the power of n is equal to 36. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will divide both of the sides by 8 to the power of x so that when we divide both sides by a to the power of n it will become in this form a to the power of n and here you have a to the power of n over a to the power of n and this will uh, also becomes 36 over a to the power of n and uh, uh, now in the next step we will use here the nice exponential law in the left hand side so here we have a to the power of n over b to the power of n it is equals to a over b and its whole power n so now we first use this nice exponential law in the left hand side uh, so that this expression will becomes in the form of 10 over 8 and its whole power n minus these two are cancelled by each other and we get minus 1 and this is equals to 36 over 8 to the power of n and uh, now in the next step we will uh, just focus on both of the sides and now first we focus in the left hand side and here we have 10 over 8 to the power of n and now uh, first I can uh, make conclusion about 10 over 8 to the power of n so here you see that uh, 10 is greater than 8 and when we divide both sides by 10 then you will get here 10 over 8 is greater than 1 so uh, here you see that when 10 over 8 is greater than 1 it means that 10 over 8 be the increasing function and uh, if we take uh, the power n on both of the sides then you will also get 10 over 8 to the power of n is greater than 1 so uh, this expression just tells us that 10 over 8 to the power of n be the increasing function and uh, you will also know about one thing is that if we subtract minus 1 from an increasing function then this will always becomes increasing function so uh, it means that when you can subtract minus 1 from increasing function it will again becomes the increasing function so uh, our left hand side will become the increasing function and now similarly we will uh, conclude about its right hand side and here you see that uh, in the denominator we have a to the power of n and you know that a to the power of n is always greater than or equals to 1 because uh, a to the power of n is exponential function and exponential function always gives the value greater than 1 so uh, when we move down this a to the power of n then you will get here 1 over a to the power of n is less than or equals to 1 because after uh, reverse this value do, then you will just reverse its inequality and we be, uh, we will uh, becomes 1 over 8 to the power of n is less than 1 and now you will multiply both of the sides by 36 and you get here 36 over a to the power of n is less than or equals to 36 so uh, you can just say that 36 over a to the power of n is less than some uh, value of uh, 36 so it means that this function will becomes the decreasing function so now you see here our left hand side with the uh, increasing function 
and the right hand side be the decreasing function so when we uh, draw these two functions graphically or we will uh, visually represent these two functions then you will just see here our increasing function will be uh, looks like in this form this is the our increasing function and when we draw this decreasing function it will be looks like in this form so you see here the increasing function and decreasing functions can be intersect at only one point and this point be the this one so uh, you will see here increasing and decreasing function at intersect at unique point so this unique point be the solution of this problem so now uh, our uh, next step is to find this point so that in order to find this point uh, we will just check uh, or by inspect Mm, or we can find the values which is satisfied this equation so our given question statement is 10 to the power of n minus a to the power of n equals to 36 and first we check this equation at n is equals to 0 so that when you will put here n is equals to 0 then this equation will becomes 10 to the power of 0 minus a to the power of 0 equals to 36 and it is 1 minus 1 equals to 36 and 0 equals to 36 so here you see that it is not possible 0 is not equals to 36 so that we will rejected this case and now we will check at n equals to 1 so when you can put here n is equals to 1 then you will get 10 minus 8 equals to 36 and here you have 2 equals to 36 and here you again see that 2 is not equals to 36 so that this case also rejected and now we will check at n equals to 2 so that when you will put here n equals to 2 then you get 10 square minus 8 square equals to 36 and you see that 10 square will become 100 and 8 square will becomes 46 64 equals to 36 and when you subtract 100 minus 64 then you will get here 36 so here you see that 36 equals to 36 so this means that n equals to 2 satisfies this equation or given equation so uh, our final conclusion is that n equals to 2 be the only one solution of this problem so we say that this point be the n equals to 2 and this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos